What a loser. Takes steroids and claims it's his vegan diet. I may be a weirdo, but this is my year, yo. My life may be crazy. My lack of the lazy has let me do shit that I love on the daily. Daily. Good morning, vegan sandwiches. Don't turn on the automatic subtitle or do because it's entertaining. Before we do anything else, let's look into a couple of comments because it's always fun. And update, I'm 16 days out. I actually found a DEXA scan in Berlin. They're not like labeled DEXA scan for body fat percentage, more like for osteoporosis, for bone density, for older or sick people. But they also measure, as DEXA scans do, your body fat percentage and your lean muscle mass, your bone density and many other things, as you remember, might remember from the vlog up here when I did it, in California, in LA. And there I was, let me lie, 13.5% body fat and I'm excited how long it will be. I will do a DEXA skin here in Berlin in my peak week. Is that fat and muscle? Yeah, 500. Ugh. Oh, that is crazy heavy. And then we see, I'm sure I will be under 10%. I think I will be maybe 8% or so. I'm excited. When I came back from the States, I was so heavy. I weighed 92 kilograms in the morning, empty stomach. And today I almost reached my lowest weight, 87.2 kilograms. So I almost lost five kilograms of pure fat. Sure, some glycogen, some muscle mass, hopefully only that little, but mostly fat. Yo, I'm already so proud of myself. Dexa scan around the corner. Of course, I'm gonna vlog that because that's what I do, daily vlogs. So put on your vlogging seatbelt, sit back, enjoy the vlog like every single day. And if you haven't made it a routine yet to watch the games every single day, then maybe change it because it's nice being that part of your life. It makes the lighting is so bad. It makes your day smarter. It may, maybe not now because my energy is but it's coming back. We're going to Bali Veg Fest around the corner. The coolest, the best stuff for us being savages is just going up as a scientific fact. Please tell us how much weight you are lifting by the end of your cut compared to your bulk. Would be really interesting. Thanks, Ferdi, and good luck. <coughs> I'm gonna do that for sure. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. What does that mean? What do you mean? But yeah, so far. It hasn't changed much. At the beginning I even got stronger and now I hold my weight mostly for upper body and I even get stronger at certain exercises and for lower body training as well. I don't do my usual weight but almost and I'm still freaking strong. Most likely due that I stick to healthy lifestyle choices that I sleep enough, that I eat enough nutrients and keep the protein high. You can do this if you're feeling tired and irritable try watching movies from your childhood that always makes me feel good vegan for life cheers bro or play computer games gta 5. hmm honestly if i do a competition again the next breath i wanna play computer games i wanna not you know i would love to play world of warcraft but i get hooked on that and i won't stop and i don't have a life anymore i mean not in this real life but in Athera being a paladin or a druid or a hunter or a warrior or ro whatever but yeah that's just too time consuming so i keep that for when i retire the world of warcraft but i would love to play skate that's a playstation game Let's talk about it and it's so fun it's like tony hawk but way more realistic because a tony hawk 
press like the triangle to do a kickflip like doesn't make much sense you just have to memorize certain things but at the game skate you have these controllers go down and then you go up it's ollie you go down you go to the left a bit it's a kickflip you go down spin it's a 180 like it's so realistic and you you become such a pro skater and you're not way too good but it's just super realistic and it's so much fun and it's a game you can just turn on play for 20 minutes have a great time and turn it off again when you play world of warcraft you have to play for hours and hours and hours to even get good so i thought about it should i get it but then i would need a tv i would need a playstation and i would need the game and for just like 20 minutes a day i don't know so yeah but my coach phil actually has a playstation and a tv so maybe i just get the game and then i can play at his place huh yeah, I'm gonna write it down. And I ask him later in the gym when we post what we do every single day. I vlogged it actually yesterday in the vlog a lot up here. With Melina not there, you lost a little bit of sparkle in your eyes. Just saying, always enjoy your vlogs. Like Fact. Your lips are moving and you're complaining about something. That's whinging. Fun fact, even if you will do a cheat day after your show, it's still gonna be healthier than 90% of people's daily menu. Of course, because I don't crave junk food at all. I just want to have a big ass portion of nice cream porridge, but then go all out. Not like the small one I have now, which is still kind of big, but way bigger. And then peanut butter, hazelnut butter, pumpkin seed butter. That for me is bliss. That is all I crave. Whole food blend is all the way, but like a lot and kind of dirty, high end fat. You know what I mean? Cannot wait for that. But yeah, fact, 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 fact. Way healthier than 90%. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I do a competition 20 of this month, so 16 days out, men's physique, where you're posing on stage. I got many questions like, why do you cut down? People don't understand, people didn't get it that I do a competition and they also asked me if I could speak more about it, like the rules and everything, and I will do that each day a bit. So now let's talk about it a bit, men's physique. Let's talk about it. Only your upper body and your calves, and I'm not entirely sure about your calves, actually I need to look it up, are charged, so you wear trunks, bathing trunks, so your legs are not counted, which for me makes it way easier. First of all, my legs are not that great developed. I'm strong, but they're just not as big. And then flexing upper body and your legs, that's like, I have so much respect for bodybuilders who compete bodybuilding style, because you have to flex your upper body and your legs at the same time, time that's really tough. So men, men's physique is just upper body, and you do certain poses, like you go around front pose, side pose, back pose, other side pose. These are the main poses, which you will see later when I pose again, or in my latest vlogs, like the vlog from yesterday. You don't have the bodybuilding poses, like double biceps or most muscular. And yeah, your upper body is judged. You're there on stage, you're getting the tan on, and that's enough for today. We talk more about it in the next vlogs, and you will see it, because I'm gonna vlog that when I go on stage. All of that experience coming soon in uh, 16 days. What a loser takes steroids and claims it's his vegan diet. I feel so bad for all people having such low expectation for what is possible naturally. Should I give you one? Okay. <coughs> um, should we look ridiculous? Mm. Should I go on stage? Oh no, I'm not allowed to wear a hoodie because I'm showing my body. But yo, I'm so excited that you're going to get more blends in your apartment. Yes, when Melina's back, we're gonna go to like, or maybe not like, or wherever, we just get blends and transform this place to a chunk and stay tuned. Cannot wait for my girl to be back. We have such a long to-do list, so Melina, you gotta come back, you gotta come back, you gotta come back. We gotta cross all the things off our to-do list. A little tip, if you wanna make your daily cleaning shave routine a bit easier, more eco-friendly and with fewer cuts, check out the Philips One Blade. It's an electric shaver uh, format. I did check it out, but the reviews didn't convince me because you don't get that completely shaved look and I wanna rock the baby face. I got so used to it and I love it. Now when I watch all vlogs having my short beard, 
I look ridiculous because my beard is just not thick and solid. I just have these couple of hair getting longer and that looks not good at all. And I was just, I don't know, lazy because trimming is way easier. But now I enjoy it. It became my evening routine and it became a habit to shave in the evening. And I kind of enjoy it. I put on an audiobook or a YouTube video and it just takes like five, six, seven minutes. Put water on my face, shaving foam and then just shave and I recommend it in the evening so much because after that I put some aftershave on my face the one I have it's only natural ingredients I love so much I link it down below smells amazing and only like based out of whole foods kind of I link it down below best aftershave ever always looking forward putting it on my face and then hitting the sack meaning going to bed and then my face can hear so that's why I recommend shave in the evening, not in the morning, unless you have to or your beard just grows steadfast that when you shave in the evening, in the morning you already have a short beard. Because after shaving, you kind of have some wounds open, your skin is open and sensitive and then when you expose your skin to lots of pollutions by just going out and about, whatever you do and you break a sweat, this and that, you break out way easier than if you shave. After shave on, go to bed for eight hours. Feel amazing. Your skin looks good. So I love that. Love the baby face. And thanks for the recommendation, but reviews didn't convince me and I wanna have it completely shaved. This is a long one. Julia. Hey, hey, I see you're very concerned about your plastic usages, which I appreciate a lot. Did you know that those cleaning sponges you use are made of plastic too and are non-recyclable? Plus, they release microplastic into the environment and the water with every use. You probably have never thought about it because it's just normal in our society. But who wants to be normal in a profoundly sick society, right? Facts. Anyway, there are much more sustainable alternatives to these sponges like reusable cotton clothes or natural sponges out of plant material. Maybe you want to do the switch, that'd be awesome. Yes, I want to. Thank you so much for caring that much about me. And that's why I always show you what I like buy this quick b-roll of like my grocery shopping because I want you to analyze it and give me feedback what I could improve. Like I watched a vlog yesterday, an old one, and I was like, how much plastic I bought? I didn't use reusable bags back then and just use all the plastic bags. I was like, duh. And it was because one of my being savages suggested kindly, like this is so kind, like how, how you always write to me, I love that. Like not judgmental, but giving me good input, caring about me. Someone wrote, hey, why don't you use reusable bags instead of these plastic bags? And that's what I do from now on and it's way better for the environment and I feel be way better about that. So yeah, you are so right. I've been neglecting my cleaning stuff a lot. I just bought what I've been used to and didn't really pay much attention to it because who cares about cleaning products? It's not, not that exciting for me. So I'm gonna tackle that next. When my girl is back, Melina, you and I, we are gonna do a series of buying environmentally friendly cleaning stuff and then showing my being savages because the stuff I have now will last me until my girl is back and then we're done with that shit and those sponges I have because yeah you're so right and I didn't really thought about it until I read the comment dumb little me so thank you so much Julia I'm gonna tackle that because I care, I care about our future, our environment. I wanna move into a bright green future all together, collectively, reduce, reuse, recycle. Hey, Melina, would you guys be together if vegans wasn't vegan? How did you, why do I read so weird? Because I'm not such a good reader, I'm sorry. How did you guys meet? You two seem like the Best couple. I wish my girlfriend and I were like that. Thank you so much. Well, I'm not Melina, so Melina, you always watch my vlogs, you always like my vlogs. How about now you also comment on my vlogs? So answer this question. Would you guys be together if vegans wasn't vegan? How did you meet? Yo, also check out our podcast. We did three rounds, more rounds to come. The next one will be sexual in Bali. Stay tuned, Vegans podcast. And there we answered like how, and we kind of answered it all. So check out the podcast. And now I hit the gym. Energy is not there. Just gonna do it. And like yesterday, I crushed an amazing lower body training. That is what I will do today. Upper body, which is easier. And today is my high rep day 10 reps so the pump will be amazing so i have something i look forward to just get my coffee in pre-workout 
which is still the same. You see it right there. 15 grams of EAAs, which give me 11 grams of protein and all essential amino acids. 5 grams of L-citrulline. 5 grams of beet powder and 5 grams of creatine. Mwah, baby, let's go! What looks better, the head or the glasses? Or both? <laughs> or nada. When I go to the Turkish hairdresser before my competition, should I just get the sides cut and the back and keep the curls like not let them touch that at all? But then it gets really long up there. But I get so many comments like, oh, we love your curls, and I like them as well. But then they get maybe too long, or maybe they is not too long. Let me know. And don't you dare not answering all the questions I asked you here. And don't you ever say I did. Lingario. Leviosa. With flesh and blood. If you say so. Honey, no, there was a 19 minute shot. What am I doing here? That's why in my la latest vlog, which isn't out yet, but you have watched yesterday, I know it's weird. I ask you, should I open up a new format like my Ask Me Mondays where I just read comments and upload it separately so it's not my vlog? And I'm excited for your feedback because then we have way more vlog time to vlog. And I still interact with your comments because I so so love that Especially if I don't have much energy like it's so easy to do and so fun to do So yeah, you already let me know in the latest vlog But if you haven't let me know then let me know now a new format where I just answer your comments And if you just watch the vlog from yesterday and answer it, that's all I'm asking Thanks! Too nice to y'all. Now I gotta up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen. A6 all the hay. I won't get involved today. Got lost in the ball in days. I'm flipping the balls. I'm flipping the, flipping the, flipping the. All record, off record. I still count wins when they got it. On record, off record. I let them take advantage. I was wildin'. On record, off record deals. Tell them talk to column for the quote. On record, off record. I still want the act, not the ghost. Running through it with the young and blooming. Shattered less impressions. I'm succumbing to it. I've been giving yeses when I shouldn't do it. I complete ejection with the moves and lose it. I did it. I f***ing did it. Today, I didn't feel Rob Bailey, but NF. Today, when I started to bench press and had absolutely zero energy, I needed some motivation. So I thought about what Nico told me a couple times recently, that he said that I'm the only plant-based athlete, vegan athlete, who built all his gains on a vegan diet and competes and does social media like I'm the first one. Like there are others like Nimai, but he was vegetarian. That's how he built most of his gains. And most others, all basically I can think of, they have been building a majority of their gains, eating animal products. But me, literally all my gains have been built. Of course not all because we always have muscle, but here's a before and after picture. All that built on a vegan diet for the last six years. So that made me really proud and I want to represent and I want to rock it and actually get a good placement, maybe even win because I'm the first one. And if you know anyone who built all his gains, I'm not talking about vegetarian or mostly vegan but eating eggs or something all his gains built on a vegan diet and then competed and look great and maybe won or does social media let me know down below but Nico and I we can't think of anyone and that makes me extra proud and motivated to rock it Home sweet home and quick organic grocery haul. I got bananas, organic, fair trade, kinda ripe, corn.
corn cakes, spell cakes, my current favorite in my diet because they have the most volume and the most protein, 12 grams per 100 gram. Kiwi, apple, loads of low calorie vegetables. And what is a pity that they have like 50% off stuff, but I put it in plastic bags. It's so counterproductive because you wanna save food. That is a misfit. I wanna save it. I wanna get the discount, but I still contribute to plastic. That is like, that doesn't go in the same direction. Anyways, I love those misfits. I love saving food. Broccoli, yeah, as I said, lots of vegetables, frozen vegetables, frozen berries, tomato sauce, and that's that. Look at those. Big purple carrots, gonna pop them in the microwave. Speaking about misfits and saving food, I got this box a couple days ago from Eat a Petita. And if I do a future cooperation with them, I tell you more about them. But if you have seen my recent story at Vegans Food, you know already everything about them. They just save misfits. Anyways, I don't have energy right now to talk. Let's just shower and breakfast. When going to the store becomes better, you know that the struggle is real. 16 days out, I got this brother, sister, puppy, and this little cutie, meaning Melina, I miss you. And I'm so happy she's watching every single day. It's like talking to her, which I do, plus my being savages. I just love vlogging so much, honestly. Hello, Melina? Hello. Come back. Do you like it that I've been editing the vlogs for the last days? This one included because it just helps me. The time flies, distract myself so I don't constantly think about food. And now, in one hour and 12 minutes, it's already food time again. Chilling in the beanbag there for the last two hours. Edited this vlog until now and now I see it's already going for almost 21 minutes. So I'm gonna end it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below what I should focus on the next days when I vlog. Low energy. I think I keep it more about this experience of my competition because that is what is on my mind the most and I want to share it. But if you have any suggestions, what else? Always start a conversation down below. And I see you here precisely tomorrow. Peace. Eat your chickpeas. Ah!